Fairfield is one of those towns in Iowa that I think represents some of that best progressive idea about the state. You've got this idea that we can be better, we can improve this, and if we just stay enlightened, we expose ourselves to what's best, we are going to be a better people and a better community for it. Fairfield has always had heroes, but there are times in our town's history that are less well known, and so those heroes have gone uncelebrated. We've uncovered through our research, with the help of state historians, with the help of acclaimed authors, and with our own local research team, the stories, the circumstances, and the people who deserve to be called heroes of Fairfield during this special time in our town's history. Based on our research, Fairfield, Iowa was a major hub of the Underground Railroad. I think that Underground Railroad operators, and for that matter, abolitionists in general, are people who were on the right side of American history. Now we know the Underground Railroad was primarily consisted of white islands, white people around the country, but here in this city, you had a leading couple who happened to be African American who were helping other freedom seekers. And I don't think they would let you call them heroes because they would just say, I was just doing my job. The same as I would, I was just doing my job. So guy, maybe the guy who gets a Medal of Honor, he'll tell you he didn't do anything special, but he did. And a lot of people gave their life helping others survive. Think what, what they've done for our country and how much we owe all these men who never returned. As somebody who takes a risk personally and says, I think it should be different in my heart, in my gut. It's the right thing to do. That's what a hero does, and that's what a heroic act is. Here we are in the prairie of a little state, a little population in the middle of a big world, and here this same spirit is alive today here.